How are you doing today? I would like to introduce to you two of my close friends. Uh, this is Hazel and her boyfriend uh, Clyde and they hang out with me in the office here. Uh, we enjoy their conversation. They're kind of my muses that I were able to tap into. But enough of that. Let's talk about what we talked about this last Sunday in church. Recently I have been amazed at how people can tell me what God's will is and why things happen. For example, the virus that we're seeing, the coronavirus that's going around, people are saying that it's from God and it's God is displeased for this or that. Uh, there's all sorts of people that can tell me for sure what God is and what God knows and I'm not sure if they're right. But what, who am I to say they're right or they're wrong because it's based upon my idea of God. And maybe that's something that we need to do more of as Christians, is we need to talk with each other about our ideas of God. Today we looked at three different ways that individuals can experience God. Now there's more than that, but we highlighted three of them. So the idea is that if we understand how we perceive God, how that impacts and how we relate to God, then in turn, it enables us to have dialogue with other people. But when you have that dialogue, one of the things we try to do here at Church of the Beatitudes is we don't try to impose other people on other people how we see God or how we relate to God, but we are more than willing to share and not only share where we're at, but to also listen to where other people are at. So take time to reevaluate and think about your idea of God and how you experience God and understand more than likely it has changed and will probably change again. Enjoy the rest of your week.